Dear viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this episode, we are going to discuss about Neutral Grounding Register NGR. Here, we shall discuss about following subjects. What is Neutral Grounding Register NGR? Why is a Neutral Grounding Register or neutral earthing register required. Why is low or suitable resistance used in NGR? Working principle of NGR. Location of installation and parts of NGR. Schematic drawing of a NGR and protection circuit. General information. Sizing of register of NGR, that is calculation of resistance. So, my dear viewers, please watch the video and appeal to you, please subscribe to the channel if yet to be done and share it if you like. Don't forget to do comment on it. Every star connected three phase winding of generator, alternator or transformer has a neutral point. If this neutral point is earth through a conductor of low resistance, then the neutral is called solidly grounded. As a result, load becomes balanced and floating of neutral problem is also eliminated. If grounding of neutral is done instead of solid grounding by inserting suitable resistance between neutral point and earth, then the resistance is called NGR, neutral grounding register. If an earth fault is occurred at any phase, a high earth fault current started to flow from the fault point to earth and return to neutral through earthing or grounding conductor of low resistance. Being low resistance, excessive fault current flows through winding which may damage the insulation and being overheated core may got damaged. A potential difference generated and current starts flowing from fault location towards the ground when an unintentional Connection between an electrical system and ground forms during ground fault condition. This current, if not managed, can become dangerously high, causing equipment damage and creating a safety risk. There would be relatively small resistance in the path. Thus, if the system was directly grounded, that is no NGR, the fault current may rise to a very high levels. What is Neutral Grounding Register NGR? A Neutral Grounding Register NGR is a register that is installed between a system's neutral point such as transformer, generator or motor and the ground. The main object of NGR is to reduce the fault current flowing through the neutral line when a ground fault occurs. Why is a neutral grounding register or neutral earthing register required? Neutral grounding registers are used in order to limit maximum fault current in shortest time to a value which will not damage the equipment 
in the power system by increasing the net resistance in the event of an earth fault and limit the current to a safe level yet allow sufficient flow of current fault current to operate protective relays to clear the fault by issuing a tripping of respective circuit breakers why is low or suitable resistance in ngr used by using high resistance neutral grounding resistor it is possible to limit fault currents and earth fault currents can be extremely reduced as a result of this fact protection device may not sense the fault due to small fault current therefore it is the most common application to limit single phase currents with low resistance neutral grounding resistor to approximately rated current of transformer and or generator working principle of ngr main and ultimate object of ngr is to limit and regulate the fault current as we know the resistance always opposes the flow of current within it during flow of heavy fault current from the winding the winding may get damaged because the protection relays needs minimum time to isolate the power system for the short period before protection should operate the ngr limits sudden flow of high fault current from the winding and converts the fault current in terms of heat energy during flowing through high resistance of ngr the fault current value should be limited to a value that can safely handled by the machine or transformer it also needs to be high enough to be sensed by the earth fault protection relays if the ngr resistance value is too high the fault current will be very low and will not be able to operate the earth fault protection relay during earth fault conditions general information generally ngr is used at 13.2 kv 11 kv 6.6 kv system it is not suitable for ehb system like 33 kv and above due to high insulation cost and larger volume etc again at low voltage like 400 volt ngr is not used due to low fault current with low fault driving voltage installation of ngr for delta connected winding shall be done through earthing transformer by which a neutral point is created
sizing of register of NGR. That is calculation of resistance. Suppose a transformer operating 33 by 11 kV 10 MBA having vector group DYN11. Hence, the line voltage is 11,000 volt. Therefore, phase voltage at start side is equal to line voltage by root 3 is equal to 11,000 by 1.732 is equal to 6351 volt. Now, rated current at 11 kV side of the transformer is equal to 10 MVA into 1000 divided by root 3 into 11 kV is equal to 10 into 1000 divided by root 3 into 11 equals to 5 to 4.87 ampere. As star connected, line current is equal to phase current is equal to 5 to 4.87 ampere. Therefore, a resistors required is equal to phase voltage by phase current is equal to 6351 divided by 5 to 4.87 equals to 12.1 ohms. So, to limit rated secondary current of the transformer, 12.1 ohms register of NGR is required. Thank you for watching this video.